Hey guys, it's Crazy Comic Lady here. I thought I'd just run through all the different pens and various sets you can get from Letraset, as uh, if you're not familiar with Letraset products, it can be a bit overwhelming, as uh, they do do six different types of, of marker pen. So I thought I'd start with kind of the less commonly used ones, just to get them out of the way. Um, and they're all water-based. So if we start with these, these are called aqua markers and they're effectively uh, a bit like water watercolour paints except they're in a pen so if I just show you they've got slightly different nibs on them to the pro marker pro marker pens but they're effectively the same shape and they've got the same if you can see the same uh, pointy end which I've forgotten the name of what they call this pointy end they've got the same as the pro markers on that but on this other side they've actually got a very kind of thick pointed end so if you want to do put down large layers of ink uh, it's a lot easier um, so once you put these down if anyone's interested I will do a tutorial on it if you'd like to see me uh, make a fool of myself with these pens but you put, put it down and then you get a paintbrush put it in water and effectively wash the whole um, whole ink across the page and that gives you your effect so uh, they're a bit more messy and time consuming than regular alcohol based markers and they're not I don't think they're selling quite as well as Letraset hoped as not long ago they did a giant uh, free sample giveaway of these pens from their website whenever you bought bought anything from their site you got free pens given away so uh, the aqua markers are only available in I think 40, originally 40 colours and they, I think they brought out 20 new colours quite recently that were also available in sets. So that's the aqua markers. Um, another water based marker are these metallic markers. And when I bought these I thought they'd be, you know, super useful as there was a lot of different colours. They've done two sets, this is just set one. Um, and they have exactly the same nibs as the aqua markers, that really big thick one on one end. And that's actually not that great because um, because when you're doing kind of metallic outlines, unless you're doing big thick borders on crafting items like cards or, or stuff like that, um, they're not actually that useful because if you're trying to do fine details it just spreads out and bleeds everywhere I find. So you'll be better off buying much cheaper metallic pens with thinner nibs so another disadvantage of these pens I found is that despite they have the same end as a pro marker they don't work with the pro marker ultra fine nib attachment if you don't know what this is I will show you it clips on over the top of your pen and has a very very I'll try and put it up so you can see very very thin nib so you can get very very fine detailed work in it and unfortunately uh, water based markers don't seem to work with these which is a bit of a shame so um, these are actually available in 11 colours so you can buy them individually if you fancy giving them a try um, set 2 however for some reason it seems they couldn't be bothered to make a 12th colour so in the second set you will end up with two silver pens so that's that out of the way. Um, the other markers that are water based at Letraset do, I don't have any here because to be honest I didn't have any use, use for them so I haven't bought them. They're called neon markers and again they're, they're these water based markers but they're in, there's only six colours and they're in completely fluorescent colours so you get a uh, very fluorescent pink, very fluorescent green, uh, fluorescent blue, fluorescent yellow, I can't remember what the other colours are. but um, they're pretty much exactly the same as these water based well more I'd just say they're more like these these because you don't actually have to use a, a paintbrush to move the ink around but effectively I don't really see the point of them again unless you're doing crafting or gift cards and and stuff like that so they're probably not not really that useful to you so on to what is going to be useful which is probably why you click the video is um, the alcohol based markers that Letraset do. So these are three different markers that they do which are alcohol based. They all use the same ink. So you've got your pro markers, you've got your flex markers and you've got 
trier markers. And I'm aware that the official term of pronouncing this is actually tria, but I personally prefer to call them trier due to the way they're spelt and tricycle and tripod. It just feels like they should be called trier, not trier, in my opinion. So just getting that out of the way in case you decide to criticise me in the comments. Um, so if I start with the pro markers, these are probably what pretty much everyone everyone knows about pro markers. You see them see them all the time. When I first started, I didn't know that there were other pens available. So I'd only ever seen these three sets in front of me at um, anime conventions, and I always thought they seemed really nice and that I'd give them a go. So I started with these three sets. Um, it was cheaper to buy all three of them than to buy them individually and to be fair you don't really want to buy these individually anyway because they only come with 10 colours per pack so 10 colours you're not going to be able to do anything with 10 colours so you do need to get get an actual uh, kind of set of at least three three or more so I started with these and they've actually got very very good colours in them if, especially if you get all three sets um, set three and one are probably the most useful they've got the, the most commonly used colours in them. The set 3 especially has a lot of very good purples and pinks that blend well. So that's what I started with and then of course I kind of learnt as I went and to complement them I actually bought, and I don't have the little leaflet to hand, but I bought a 12 set Pro Marker pack called I believe it's the Vivid Blending set. Now that's very useful because it has like specific colours which do blend very well together and it shows it on the little leaflet that comes with it, it shows it shows how all these colours blend really well. So if you want to get blending set, I believe there's maybe four or six various blending sets that you can get that have colours that kind of complement these starting sets. So that was quite useful. Um, so Pro Markers, of course, they come in around, I think it's 148 colours, so you can't get the full range of colours as the Pro Markers. Um, after that, I kind of learnt, I learnt that uh, Flex Markers existed. So I kind of, I pretty much bought all the sets in one go for these. Um, I, I think I started with the six sets Flex Markers, so they come in sets like this. And there's four different sets. I have the little leaflets here. You can see they're all in this wallet behind there. Um, and I do actually recommend set one and two are the best sets if you're going to buy just the six colour sets like this, the smaller ones. Because sets one and two have these, if you can try and see on the colour charts here, they have very, very pale colours. And actually these colours are really good and a lot of them are not available as um, any other pen at all, you can only buy them as the flex markers. And when you're blending it's very useful to have very pale colours like this to blend out your blend out your darker ones. So if you're gonna buy just the six um, you know, the six sets, there's four of them, I would get set one and two. They are the most commonly used sets that I that I use. Um, they also do in the flex marker range, they do four twelve sets. So you get twelve pens in per set, so I've got them all here. I bought them all in one go. They're a bit more expensive than than pro markers. They're like um, uh, almost two pounds, I think, more expensive. I can't remember. I think they're around two pounds ninety nine off the official website. So try and make room for all the sets here. So these were really useful. And of course, when you're first starting out, you don't really know what colours you want to use. Uh, what colours are best to use for various things, so you end up um, not really sure of what sets to actually get, and there's an awful lot to choose from. Um, once, you're used, once you've used pens a while, you kind of get a feel for what colours you want, but I do highly recommend set 2. If you're going to get any flex markers at all, buy this set, the 12 set 2, because it has all of the skin colours I like to use the most for in all of my pictures. It's, it's a very good set. I've replaced the majority of the pens in this set multiple times because I've used them so much. So if I just open this set up so you can see inside it. I also find these are very useful keeping these plastic boxes as storage devices as well because they're very handy just to be able to grab, grab what you want. So if I kind of show you the ones that are commonly used, it comes with this linen 
which again is a flex mark marker only colour. You can't get this as as the refillable trier pen, unfortunately. But linen is a brilliant skin colour. I use this for all of my pictures. Um, blush, dusky pink, sun kissed pink I use for blushes, pastel pink, which is very good for lips. Um, this nutmeg is really brilliant uh, for hair because brown hair is kind of difficult to get it to blend out well and properly and I always struggle with it but this one is such a pale brown that it's very very useful for that so I do recommend um, the nutmeg from this set as well especially from hair um, it also comes with a blender pen all the 12 sets come with blender pens whether it's pro marker or flex marker I personally don't find that they're especially useful but that could just be a my lack of practice with them to be honest but so if you're going to get a 12 set you're going to definitely want this 12 set too out of all the other sets um i can't get this close now how annoying okay there we go um afterwards i would definitely recommend set three um mainly because of these greens now i think yeah i was just going to say i thought they were in a different set there but they're not um, these greens are very, very useful. It's got uh, meadow green, apple green, and forest green. And they're really, really useful for blending, because I find greens are quite difficult to get to blend well. So um, fle flex markers in general are much better for blending because they have a much different um, nib to them. They have the same as the Pro Marker ones, which I forgot to show you, which is uh, this chisel nib, which come on all Pro Marker pens as standard but um as with the the pro marker ones have again this little pointed nib that all the water base markers have whereas the flex markers they all come with if i can get the lid off this little brush nib now you do have to be careful that you don't end up putting too much ink on the page because they do tend to i don't know if you can see it there's a line of ink just around there they do kind of leak a little bit in the caps but they are very, very brilliant pens. I do recommend them. There are only two downsides about these pens, or possibly three. One, they're not refillable, which is a shame because they are they are so much better than the two other brands of pens. Um, so that is a shame. But you wouldn't really want to refill these because as soon as your pen starts running out, this brush nib um, very quickly gets destroyed. It gets absolutely so destroyed because you end up pushing harder just to try and get any ink out of it at all. Um, another downside with these pens, and this could just be me being too weak and feeble, but I find if you're using a particular pen a lot, when they're brand new, the caps come off fine. They're really easy to get off. As soon as you start using them on a regular basis, the lids get absolutely stuck, and I find them very hard to get these lids off. But then, again, that could just be me. But I have had accidents where I've thought I've put the lid on properly, I've picked it up and realised it hasn't and I've got ink absolutely everywhere because they are a lot inkier than, than Pro Markers. But they're quite close to Copic pens, if you're familiar with Copic pens. They are quite close to that in comparison. Um, to be honest, if they if Letraset did all of the pens um, all of like the colours available in this pen, then I would have no need whatsoever to ever buy Copic. So I would just use Letraset brand branded flex markers. But unfortunately, they're only available in I think it's around 90 colours. They did recently bring out 20 new colours, but they didn't tell anyone about it. They did it in kind of kind of secretly. They're not available in any sets. Um, I only found out by accident when I went to buy. A replacement pen for one that had run out so these are actually all the new colors that I've actually put in little wallets not wallets plastic cases and I will write a list of all these new colors in the video description because you have to go just fishing through the individual colors to find these pens and if you're not sure what you're looking for it's going to take a while for you to to search through the color charts and work out what pens a new on what pens are old so I think there's around maybe 100 110 colors now available in the flex but of course that is far less than the Tria pens um, so if I just close this again I don't know why I'm having trouble with these boxes but right 
So again, so set two and three are definitely the best. Um, the set I use the least is definitely set one. To be honest, I have absolutely no use for any of the colours in this set. I very, very rarely use it. Um, there are only really three colours in it that I do use, and that are the three blues, the navy blue, the sapphire, and the Egyptian blue. But again, this set probably really is not worth your money, especially if you already have like a few pro markers as well in in reds and blues because they're they're really there's not enough colors in this to make it worth your while something else that i forgot to mention when i was talking about pro markers so i know i'm kind of flicking backwards and forwards between the sets here is that pro markers did this year bring out these limited edition colors and these they're not available in again any other brand of pen they're only available as pro markers not as Trek uh, flex markers not as Tria markers so um, yeah there are there's four sets of six of these new limited edition colors and the downside of this is once they're gone they can't gone you're not going to be able to replace them because they're limited edition they're not they're not going to stock them again which is kind of it makes me really not want to buy them because if I really like a certain color in the set then it's it's going to be a bit of a pain to to get a hold of it as of next year but um this spring set which is the only limited edition set i currently own has some brilliant pinks in it um i always feel that um letra set don't have enough pink pink pens actually available but this these do actually have quite a few good uh, pinks in it for blending especially for the inside of mouths if you're doing cartoon characters which have got their mouths open then this set is is quite good for that I have used this quite a lot so if I move on now to the probably the final the final pen here the the trier tria pens depending on how you want to pronounce it um, the positive side of these is <laughs> they are refillable and um, if I can just grab a hold of the refill cartridge so you can see what it looks like uh, this is the refill cartridge. Uh, they're very, very simple to change. You just have to, uns pretty much, it just pulls off. The nibs pretty much pull off and change. So that is that is one of the positive things about these pens. The other thing, I mean, if you are going to buy pens, I actually do recommend that you either buy all of the flex markers you can, and then actually complement them with the Tria pens, not Pro markers, because the Tria pen it's got different nibs on it again it's got what is almost like a brush nib but it's much harder than a brush nib but not quite as hard as the pro marker nib which was is really only designed for small detailed work um, on small areas so this is much better if you're covering larger areas it also tree a uh, tree pen meaning three it has three nibs not two which um, kind of gives it an edge over the Copic markers, which only have two, which most people seem to buy. So, again, chisel nib, which all come as standard on all pens. And it's got the ultra fine nib, which you can buy the attachment for, for the Pro marker. So, if you want to do very detailed work, it's quite useful to just have that handy. Another thing is, if you do damage the nibs of these pens, or you want to switch them out so that you can have the nib that's on the pro marker you can do that because they sell the nibs as separate you can buy them separately and just uh, change them depending on uh, depending on your on your feelings so I never actually had to do that I I broke uh, this nib on one of my pens once just because I didn't realize what I was that I was pressing so hard and I actually damaged the nib um, but luckily I had a spare pen that I didn't use and I just switched the nibs over so yeah um, another good thing about these pens is they are available in the full range of colors so that is uh, 300 colors that these are available in I do recommend these and if you go to Letraset's official website as of November 2012, they have got a half price sale on all trier sets. So if you want to try them, I would really recommend them, especially this set here. It is the trier greys, and you get 12 markers in this set. 
and they are very 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 useful um, you've got the warm greys the cool greys and the ice greys compete in this set you get four of each uh, with the half price discount that it's got at the moment it's only around I think 22 pounds so that's a huge saving from what these sets usually cost um, so I do recommend you get some also if you do part buy from the official Letraset website uh, they all trier pens have a deal on them it's all year round and it's kind of sneaky because it doesn't really tell you about it so if you buy three of these pens they actually give you a discount which saves you the price of one pen so effectively you're getting one free buy two get one free and they don't actually tell you that but when you do that these pens actually work out at only about 20p more expensive than a pro marker so if you're going to buy stuff like individually to kind of boost up your collection I do recommend just buying these because with the discount when you get one free it's actually far better value and the nibs are better on them for blending uh, you can re uh, replace the the cartridges and they're available in the full color range so I don't to be honest see why anyone would rather have the pro markers over these these um, trier markers to be honest so that I kind of would recommend um, I think that's all I can really tell you about the sets that are available. I'm not sure if that was much help or not. I was trying to speak quite quickly so that the video doesn't overrun too long. Um, so yeah, as, as always I would recommend flex markers, but of course if you're not really sure what you're, what you're doing, what colours you're looking for, then these three sets that you now can't see due to the amount of stuff, these manga starter sets that I started with, they have quite good colour ranges so that will give you a feel for the type of ink in the pens rather than how good the other pens are in general but then I do of course recommend set 2 of the 12 the twelve flexi markers because of the skin tones in it to complement maybe um, some other pro markers that you perhaps already own and then definitely try a pens um, much much better than pro markers at the moment whenever my pro markers run out i'm upgrading them to to these pens as soon as they run out i keep writing writing a little list um so yeah i believe i believe that's all and i hope hope that was hope, helpful to you one other thing that i could actually mention is if i just move stuff out of the way if you can see back here um the flex markers that I've got, they're in, you can see better here, the wallets that they're in. I can quickly show you what a wallet looks like. <sighs> looks like this. I wrote the name of the colours across the top. Um, these Letra Set wallets, they're supposed to be suitable for, you know, all three makes of pens. Um, they're not really, uh, they're mostly uh, geared towards pro markers. If you try and fit a flex marker, in these wallets you can see that um, they've got slightly they're slightly thicker than a standard pro marker pen and they've got these ridges on the caps so if you are trying to store these in marker wallets then you're gonna have to do what I did and actually attach um, elastic bands kind of around it to stop them all falling out because um, these little um, elastic things do not fit the trier pens at all they just won't three abreast will not fit in properly with these little if you want to have them secure in these in these uh, elastic thingies so um, just be warned if you're gonna go out and buy uh, buy some wallets to store these and the same actually goes for the for the trier pens as well because they've got this bit at the top um, they also don't properly fit into these marker wallets um, so that's why they usually come in in tins you can buy these tins separately but they're not they're not especially great because of course with the trier pens you can't really see the label of what pen you're grabbing so if I show you in here how they're all set up if you've got it at a slight angle you pull a pen out and of course they all roll down and it's a pain in the ass to uh, pardon my language again, to get them back back in the original slot because of um, you also can't find the labels as well, it's a bit of a pain. 
But they have, Electroset has, as a new product, very recently brought out special mark haulers just for these pens. I believe they clip into place, but I'm not entirely sure. If you buy the 24 sets of Trier pens, which are also half price at the moment as of November 2012, um, that comes with the special marker wallet that will uh, hold the Trier pens. So, um, right, I believe that's, that is all I have to cover. Um, sorry I was kind of droning on there a bit, I was slightly worried about my webcam actually dying on me again as I've been having major webcam trouble recently. Um, so yeah, I, I hope that was somewhat useful to you and you've got maybe a slightly better idea of, of the various sets that are available and what I started with. I know it can be quite confusing when you're not uh, not really that familiar with one, the kind of colours you're really looking for and two, Letraset branded products in general. They do try and make it quite confusing with all their, all their sets. Something also that's interesting to note, I keep thinking of new stuff here, um, on the official Letraset website they do actually offer free post and packaging for people abroad so if you live in Europe then if you spend, you only have to spend I believe it's um, I believe it's 25 euros and you get free post and packaging and it's not that difficult to spend that much on their site to be honest um, and if you're in the USA I believe it's 33 dollars you have to spend and you get free post and packaging from the official website so that is quite a useful useful thing to know um, also if you feel like you don't really know what on earth you're doing you don't want to spend a fortune to, but you do want to get an idea for colours you can buy all of the pro markers in one set complete with uh, letter set stands which they sit on your desktop I believe they're called a desktop tidy or something and they sit on your desktop and the pens just sit in them um, they have these little holes and the pens sit in them so you can buy all the pro markers with, and they come with these stand things for free and I believe that's around £256 so it's not like a whole lot if you consider if you consider like if you bought like all of the trier pens, all 300 colours then you're going to be looking at more more like £1000 rather than rather than 200 so if you want to get kind of a feel you might as well because eventually if, if you've got an obsessive personality as well eventually you're going to end up going oh I want this colour, I want that colour as well and it's just you're going to end up um, spending an awful lot of money if you if you try and buy them kind of all individually and and all over the place and not sure what colours to get so um, so yeah uh, I thought I just thought something there but I think I've completely forgotten what it was I was going to say so without without uh, taking up any more of your time I believe I shall uh, say goodbye now <laughs> bye everyone hope this was useful to you see you again soon